for Adidas to re-release this shoe right now, they would have to re-alter the patch on all of these, which can't happen because it's already been back doors. They'd have to change the insole, they'd have to redo the inner portion of the right shoes, and they'd have to change the box. Do you know how much time, money, and resources that would take? It's not gonna happen. I'm telling you guys, we are not gonna see the official, official release of this shoe unless What up and welcome to the channel, it's your boy Sneak T. Today you guys, we're gonna be talking about these Yeezy Pirate Blacks, man. And uh, just the whole controversy behind them, what's gonna happen in 2023 and beyond. And uh, will we ever see the official release of the shoe? I felt like it was my duty to speak more on this topic because I feel like there's a lot of skepticism. There's a lot of rumors. There's just a lot going on surrounding this shoe right here. Now, this is the 2016 release pair. I got my pair off a of goat a while back. And, you know, as soon as I liked the Yeezys, it was kind of right when the transition kind of happened to Adidas. I just liked the overall wearability of them. They're a functional shoe. They're clean and simple. And it was very new and innovative. It was something that caught me off guard with Adidas and Kanye. So it just worked out for the timing. And here we are, fast forward later. And it's a super iconic shoe demanding a lot of demand for the release. Now, I wanted to talk about this release because obviously Adidas has cut Kanye. If you guys aren't aware, I don't know where you've been, if you're in the sneaker industry, but yeah, Adidas cut ties with Kanye 100%. Now, Kanye does not own the silhouette for the 350. Such a bummer, man. I don't know how he dropped the ball on getting copyrights for that. Anyways, he does own the Yeezy brand. He doesn't own the 350 though. So what's going to happen? Will Adidas release more 350s? I think so. But this particular model, in my opinion, I feel like we're never going to see an official release. Now, and the reason I say that is if I take the other shoe right here, right? And we take a look. The main reason I feel like this shoe will not release is because the shoes have already been produced with the Yeezy branding on the side. Now my pair is worn, so it might be kind of hard to see, but they do have the YZ, uh, Y, right? YZ, Y for Yeezy on the shoe. Now that's an abbreviation for Yeezy brand. They can't sell that because they cut ties with him and they don't own it. So for that reason, this Pirate Black will not officially release. Now, what's going to happen with all the pairs of these that are already out there? Because we've seen images. There's even some on GOAT. You can buy these. So, like, I don't know if you can trust it. Obviously, there are legit pairs out there. There are legit pairs out there because this shoe was produced. And we know that. It just got postponed slash canceled because Kanye blew the lid on a lot of things. And... They cut ties with them. So what's going to happen with this shoe? Like I said, I don't feel like we're personally going to see an official release of these. Unfortunately, I wanted that really, really bad. And even if some way they did right now, I wouldn't buy them personally because it's just like the innovativeness behind Yeezy and the whole idea behind it came from Kanye and his team. Not Adidas. Adidas just had the technology and they had the resources to produce the shoe and mass quantities and the marketing to get to the masses, okay? But the idea was not Adidas, you guys. Otherwise, they would have did it way before Kanye. Way before Kanye. Now, they do have Boost, obviously. Boost contributed to the 350 being such an iconic shoe, but in my opinion, more than the technology was the man behind it and just the whole innov innovativeness to change the game. What other person that wasn't an athlete has such an iconic shoe besides Jordan? I'll wait. So for that reason, I feel like we're not gonna see these. You know, they have the easy branding and I don't have my OG box, but the new box that is like the new style, it says the uh, Yeezy abbreviation on the box as well. So think about that for a minute. For to Adidas to re for Adidas to re-release this shoe right now, they would have to re-alter the patch on all of these, which can't happen because it's already been back doors. They'd have to take out the insole because the insole, mine's is worn out but the insole says Yeezy on it. They'd have to change the insole. They'd have to redo the inner portion of the right shoes and they'd have to change the box. Do you know how much time, money, and resources that would take? 
It's not gonna happen. I'm telling you guys, we are not gonna see the official, official release of this shoe unless they sell Kanye the silhouette or they bring Kanye back and they do the release with him as far as the Pirate Black goes. Now, I'm not saying we won't see any more 350s. I believe we will see some 350s without any Yeezy branding, for sure. I definitely see that. I don't know what type of ethics. Actually, I do know. I don't really respect those ethics as a company. In my opinion, if you cut ties with someone, you need to completely cut ties with what they do. You, to drop the man and still drop his ideas is trash. I mean, you know, it's kind of lame in my opinion, you know, move on, hire more creatives, get more dis ideas, move on. Why are you going to drop the man, but still try to keep what he would uh, help make you guys more of what you are now. Now, Adidas is huge. They don't really need easy brand. Honestly, they're a billion dollar company without it. They have sports. They're really big into soccer, football, overseas, all of that stuff. So this is just kind of a small portion for them, but it was a large potential that was been taken away from them also reputation wise. So would I love to see this shoe release? Yes, man. This is definitely my top three, probably easies of all time. I would like to get a DS pair. I have worn this pair a lot. I've definitely worn this pair over 20 times. I've had it for about two, two and a half years now. And they have some wear and tear, but they still hold up. It's an all black shoe and they're very wearable and they're very clean. Um, like I said, I do not have my OG box and those boxes were different. The newer boxes, they opened up on the top. They're very minimal, but um, yeah, you guys, I you guys, I got like the Dazzling Blues right here. And then I got like the Pirate Black. So you can see the differences, the obvious differences. No back tab on this one. No pa different pattern, different permanent pattern on them. So I just like how more subtle and more simple the V1s are. And honestly, if I could only have like four Yeezys, I would just take all of the V1s. These Turtle Doves, the Moon Rocks, and Oxford Tans. Those are all my favorite Yeezys, but there's the V2. And um, these are like tighter. Like this material is much tighter on your foot than the V1s. This is definitely more like a looser type shoe. And this one just it definitely has a tighter knit. You can see right here on the back tab how much more sharper that is versus this one. Really big difference in shape. So, but I still like, if they redefine the shape of the V1s, which they should have did, but it's too late because they dropped yay. It sucks. But even if, like I said, if Adidas dropped these today, I wouldn't buy them because I don't rock with that. But will I buy backdoor parodies <laughs> that are legit? Heck yeah. If I find a parodies in my city that are legit, because there's backdoor pairs out there for sure, you guys. I know there is. We've seen them. There's images out there. There's people that have them in hand. There's people that are selling them right now on gold. So at some point, I will get my hands probably on a pair of those because those were legit before the whole drop of Kanye. But will I rock with Adidas and 350s from this point on? Absolutely not. I don't need no new colorways. I'm good with enough that they've dropped. They really flooded us with 350s, you guys. So let me know your guys' opinions on that. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment if you guys like this video. You want me to talk about any other shoes. It's your boy Sneak T signing out, man. Be positive.